G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today is the first Maya official tutorial. Um, there will be a video series of tutorials for Octane and Maya where the buttons are. I'm not been telling you what the buttons do since I already taught you this in the standalone version. But um, this will show you how to uh, navigate through the program, show the do's and don'ts, what's working, what's not and how to work in the hyper shade as it can be a bit confusing for some. Uh, first thing um, is the downloading and installing. So let's go, first we have to go to the Octane Wen Render website. Now here you will log in to your Octane Render account on the website. And here you have all of your personal details and such. You will then go to password. You'll click down for Octane Render for Maya. You would go to your Windows. You would pick your version you want to pick, and then you would press download. You may not be seeing this because it has some private details onto it. Um, so once you've downloaded it and installed it, you'll be going to an option where it would say do you want to install for Octane Render f um, for Autodesk Maya 2011, 2012, 2013, 64-bit, 62-bit, so whatever your system is, uh, click onto it and install it. Now when you first open up Octane Render, I mean Maya, you would find you have your own personal Octane Render tab. Now, if you're not seeing this, um, then, then you have to go to your Windows, Settings and Preferences, and Plugin Manager. From there, you would find Octane Render Plugin.mll. You would then press Load it and Auto Load, Refresh, then Close. And then, you ha then there you have it. You have Octane Render already prepped up. You have your user manual here, which you can look at. Um, and everything, but uh, I'll be going through the rest in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.